be a wall. Yes, a wall. Let's get it on! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble! I've lost a bit of weight. I've lost about 20 pounds. Exactly! What? No! No! You're basically applauding me for only eating as much as I need now. I got fat because I was a greedy, lazy bastard. And I've been criticised in the past for having a go at fat people. I've never had a go at fat people. I've only ever pointed out the fact that you get fat if you take in more calories than you burn off. That's simple science. I don't judge them in any other aspect of their life, but... And, this is the other thing, they not... No, wait, wait, right? <laughs> not only is that what makes you fat, people know that's what's making them fat. No one got fat behind their own back. <laughs> no one ate and, ate and went, what the fuck's that? I... Also, no one's sneaking into thin people's apartments and uh, injecting their lettuce with a million calories. That doesn't happen. If I see a fat girl, I don't go, oh, she'd be pretty if she lost weight. That's rarely the case. Okay. <laughs> but there's no stigma attached, because it, that, people don't even want to use the word fat now, because I think it's derogatory. It's a real taboo subject, so they use euphemisms. They go, oh, you know, Brenda, the f big girl... <laughs> what, seven foot? No, no. Not to. What does she look like? Brenda, you know, she, she's the one who's clammy even in winter. <laughs> Just say she's fat. Nothing wrong with it. It's their choice. It's up to you if you want to be fat. It's fine. But they don't. They go, you know, Brenda, the, she's out of breath just standing up at her desk. <laughs> just. But even though it is their own fault, and it is their own fault, I feel sorry for them, right? Particularly fat women, because fat is a feminist issue. Men get fat, and we just go, fuck it, all bought and paid for, you know. <laughs> We don't come under the same constraints of society, whereas women are inundated with images of how you should be. Size zero models, this diet, that diet, look like this, keep your man. And they make such an effort, don't they, fat girls? They've always got lovely hair, aren't they? They're always having their hair. They've always got lovely hair. Always got lovely hair. Always got those lovely false nails, haven't they? They make an effort. Anything but jogging, right? <laughs> they love high heels, don't they? They think it makes their legs look less... It doesn't. It just... <laughs> you can just hear them coming now. <laughs> I don't want any fat people to feel uncomfortable at one of my gigs, so next time, buy two seats. I'm, I'm joking. I'm dead. I'm joke. Shut up. I was listening to uh, the radio in England a few weeks back. Radio 4, quite highbrow. There was a discussion about political correctness. My name came up straight away, right? And... <laughs> There was this woman on there going, oh, yeah, well, it's, it's not right. Um, uh, Ricky Gervais, um, he makes jokes about fat people. Um, he wouldn't make jokes about gay people, would he? And being fat is like being gay. What? No, it's not. What? <laughs> you can't choose your sexuality. As we've established, you choose whether to eat too much or not. You know, you're, with, with, with your sexuality, you're born, you grow up, you discover you like same-sex relationships, and that's it. You're gay, OK? For being gay to be the same as being fat, you'd have to be born, be straight, grow up knowing you're straight, but gradually and consciously wean yourself onto cock. <laughs> Happy 16th birthday, son. Um, <laughs> this is Raoul. Sort of suck his cock. <laughs> Sorry, father. Suck his cock. 16 now. Suck his cock. I, I, I'm heterosexual. Oh, with his newfangled words. Suck his cock. Come on. <laughs> I, d I don't like cock, father. Doesn't like cock. How do you know if you've never tried it? Ah! <laughs> suck his cock. I don't... Suck one cock. Suck... Uh, that's not sucking it. That's playing with you. Put it in your mouth. Put it... Uh, oh. Look, t t t t have a go. You might like it. Oh. It's not so bad, is it? Oh. I fucking love these. <laughs> if that happened, then being gay would be the same as being fat. But it doesn't, so it's not, OK? I was on a plane last year, OK, going from New York to LA, OK? And me and my girlfriend were one side of the plane, there was the aisle, and the other side there were these two huge fat women, OK? Proper, proper, proper fat. One of them just got on and went, can I have a bout extension? Yeah, of course you can, you've earned it, right? So... <laughs> 
proper. In fact, I was thinking of calling the pilot out and going, should one of us swap with one of them? Otherwise, we're just going to Canada. Do you know what I mean? Because just... even though it is their own fault, and it is their own fault, um, I don't know if you know this about fat people. Um, they fucking love cake. <laughs> they love it. They love it, right? And I blame the food industries because you go into the supermarket and it's just packed with that stuff. Everything's packed with hydrogenated fats and extra calories and sugar and butter and everything. And they, they love that, okay? And there's always a big door, isn't there, to a supermarket? It's always, they've got a quadruple door, isn't it? No one's ever been too fat to get through the door of a supermarket, OK? <laughs> and it opens automatically, so they don't have to waste calories pushing anything. There's just... And it's a good job it opens automatically, because usually it's glass, and they can see the pie from down the road, and they're in like that. Uh, uh, uh. Grazing, right? So, I say, keep the big door. Keep the big door. Sure, keep the big door. Come on, fat people. Come in, you go. But when they get in there, it's all fresh fruit and veg. It's all whole grain. It's all stuff that's good for you, OK? Of course they'll be confused at first. They go, well, that's, that's not real food to them. They think Brussels sprouts is packaging, right? They're, <laughs> they're looking, where's the cakes? Where's the cakes? The cakes are over here, but the cakes are through a different door. But this door is human-sized, OK? <laughs> so now they go, where's the cakes? They go, oh, fuck, I can't get in. I can't, can't get through the fucking door. Look at <laughs> and they're starving. I go, oh god, I've got what's this? I've got to eat some. What's this? A banana? <laughs> and they go, oh no, I still can't. Back another carrot. <laughs> they're back and forth for days, and the fat's falling off them. Soon they can slip through the door and have a cake. They can't get out again. No, but I'm dear fat people. Ah, some people are already really mad at this video. What are you gonna do, fat people? What are you gonna do? What, what are you gonna chase me? Really? You're gonna chase me? It's gonna be like fucking Frankenstein. I can get away from you by walking at a reasonable pace. Frankenstein? Not so fast. Fat shaming? Is not a thing. Fat people made that up. That's the race card with no race. Yeah, but I couldn't fit into a store. That's discrimination. Uh, no. That means you're too fat and you should stop eating. Uh, there's a race card, there's a disability card, there's even a gay card because gay people are discriminated against. Wrongfully so. Are you gonna tell the doctor that they're being mean and fat shaming you when they say you have fucking heart disease? I'm not talking about people who have a little bit of cushion for the pushing. And if there's people watching this with a specific health condition, this is not aimed at you. I'm talking about the 35% of North Americans who are obese. That means you are so fat, you are affecting your own health. Big bone isn't a thing. Obesity is a disease. Yeah, so is being a shopaholic. But I don't get a fucking parking pass. Fat people parking spots should be at the back of the mall parking lot. Walk to the doors and burn some calories. Why are we helping them? Wanna die quicker? Come this way. It's assisted suicide. <laughs> I was at the airport not too long ago, and I had to wait in one of those lines that's like... <laughs> As I get to the front of the line, a family comes to the front and gets to bug me. Fattest, most obese, I'm talking TLC special fat. You're a meth shamer. They got to go to the front of the line because they were complaining that their knees hurt too much to stand in it. Oh, I just came an hour early like I was supposed to. But you overeat, let me help you. And they complain, and they smell like sausages, and I don't even think they ate sausages. That's just their aroma. They were so fat that they're that standing sweat fat. Crisco was coming out of their pores like a fucking Play-Doh fun factory. <laughs> So I wait an extra 10, 15, 20 minutes. So now I'm running to my plane. Just as I stop to wipe my sweat, who do I see in a fucking golf cart? Fat family! <sighs> so what? You got to bud me and ride in a golf cart and I'm sweating like a pig. But if I play an ugly girl in a movie, I get a fucking Oscar! Yeah, yeah. Now I get on the plane, I find my lovely seat. I'm sitting in the aisle and then a stewardess walks up to me. Hi ma'am, I hate to ask, but we've got a disabled passenger. Would you mind switching seats? And of course, cause I'm not an asshole. I'm like, oh my God, of course, yes. Oh look, it's Fat Family and Jabba the Sun sits right beside me. <sighs> I just lost my shit. His fat was on my lap. It was actually on my lap. I took the handle, I squished it down, and I said, my seat, your seat. I actually took his fat and I pushed it into his seat and I held it. He was fine. He was just fat. Watching a movie. No. 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 
Make, make better choices. Yes, genetics plays a part in things to a degree, of course. Big sassy black women in church dresses are my favorite thing in the world. But I'm really fucking selfish and I want to keep you around. I have no idea the correlation between high notes and calorie intake, but I'm not going to question it. <laughs> and I'm not saying all this to be an asshole. I'm saying this because your friends should be saying it to you. Think of me as one of your ride or dies. If you're dating a douchebag and you come to me all like, my boyfriend's being a douchebag. That's because you're dating a douchebag. But what do we do? Get rid of the douche.